for the crack. The hot hot spot. Spot. Drop it like it's hot. hot. Drop it like it's hot. hot. So hot and yeah. hot. All right, twenty nine before the top of the hour, y'all. What up, Rock? Again? Yes, indeed. Rock Teasy sitting in for the Brigadier it Tat Teasy in the hot spot. Yesterday, the jury in the Black China one hundred million dollar defamation trial reached a verdict, ending the weeks long case. A judge at the Stanley Moss Courthouse in Los Angeles ruled that members of the Kardashian Jenner family were cleared of all the key questions and that black China would be awarded no monetary damages. Gary, Gary I know you yeah, got I know something. doggone well that they paid them damn people the, the Kardashians paid. There's no way they was going to and cut um black China was buying stuff. Y'all know that they did that to that girl. So that's that shouldn't even be discussed. I mean, I knew black China probably was going to get at least a little bit of something. Well, you know they were so confident about it, Gary, that they didn't even show up at court. They were getting ready you for the Met Gala. Yeah. Nah, they so were like, I'm not even going to come nah. because I know well, how it's going down. Black yeah, China. yeah, you got, you got to, uh, yeah, you got to prove you got to, you got to prove something like that in order to get a judgment like that. You got to really prove your case. And uh, yeah. apparently, her uh, the Kardashian attorney like, y'all go ahead and go to Met Gala. Uh, they don't something? have nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Just, man. But not that. But now, but they could go with their black men. But the poor black woman, honey, got to go, honey, looking for her a check somewhere else because they not gonna pay her. And did okay, that woman? The black woman got to be right when she filed charges. She got yeah, to have a real case. Right. Yeah, but they huh? told they they told their brother, if you go ahead with this heifer, we give you nothing else. So he had to go with his family. He knew doggone well that they were wrong, and they did pull black China bad. But you know. And did that bother you? Did you? Did you? Yes, sleep it bothered night? me. I did not. It bothered me because just think about it, Ricky. Now they could go, honey, uh, land up in the bed, honey, with their little husband or their little um, um, boyfriends or whatever that look like Black China, but Black China, honey, got to go and be Black China all by herself. No, I don't like that. That's why <laughs> I don't like them Kardashians. <laughs> all by herself. But, but she gets, she's still getting child support check from Rob. Well, she's getting a little check or something from him. Probably Rob got a sock company. Yeah, but who are those socks? It wouldn't happen. Neiman socks? Marcus been through those girls out. So I ain't seen them <laughs> there in a while. Neiman threw those girls out a long time ago, honey. I ain't seen them there in a while. When they first came out, they was prominently placed. But, honey, they don't put them nowhere else. They gone. Mm. So, child, please. They ain't even in Dollar Tree. No, they might be in the tree, honey, but they're not, honey, at Miss Marcus, honey. <laughs> you don't call it the Dollar Tree. You call it the tree. The tree. The tree. The tree. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound love. Well, in other news, Will Smith and Chris Rock slap has now got the Tony Awards taking extra precaution this year. Production for the uh, the 75th annual awards show revealed how they plan to handle any perpetrator of a violent incident during the upcoming ceremony. A part in the frequently put a fence up. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Big ass ass cage fighting fence from the wrestling. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -mm -mm. Give everybody a helmet when they come in. The Tony Awards has a strict no violence policy in the event of an incident. The the perpetrator will be removed from the event immediately. Period. Mm. It is what it is. Last but not least, man, Tay Diggs made a big announcement and has announced that the Best Man series will be coming to Gary's favorite TV network, Peacock. Uh, Diggs posted a photo of the cast from the Best Man Holiday along with the caption, We're back. In a press release given by the network, they stated, Based upon the Universal Film franchise written and described, uh, Malcolm D. Lee, four episodes, the series will catch up with the beloved cast as relationships evolve and past grievances resurface in the unpredictable stages of midlife crisis meets midlife renaissance. Original cast members, Morris Chestnut, Tay Diggs, Regina Hall, Terrence Howard, Sinai Lathan, and Nia Long. Additionally, Nicole uh, Ari Parker, Ron Canada, and Brandon Victor Dixon will be added to the cast. No release date has been set, but this should be pretty dope. Nice. Awesome. That's what I got. Rock TZ in for the hot spot for the Brigadier Tat. It is what it is, man. I'm out. Deuces. <laughs> More of the morning show coming up. <laughs>